The name of this video is Camera Fly Mode Blender 2.49B Tutorial. You may be familiar with the 3D view pan keys, control num 2, control num 4, control num 6, and control num 8, as well as num 2, num 4, num 6, and num 8, which lets you rotate the view in small steps. You can, of course, also use the middle mouse button or alt left mouse button if you're using a laptop to move around in the viewport. You may not be as familiar with camera fly mode, which lets you fly around the 3D view somewhat like a flight simulator. It's like you're in the cockpit of a jet plane and you can navigate around. I'm going to get into the cockpit, so to speak, to learn the controls. After that, I'll show you how to use camera fly mode to see the world through the eyes of, say, a character in your scene. You can move your character around to where you want it to be positioned. So let's put our goggles on and get started. Start up Blender. We'll keep the default cube. Add Suzanne to the scene. Space, add mesh, monkey. Eventually we'll get inside her head. Now start your engines. Press Shift F, which gets you into camera fly mode. You can see the corners of a rectangle. This is sort of like the navigator's view. Think of the mouse as a joystick. Move the mouse upward, the view is panned upward. The further away the mouse gets from the rectangle, the more pronounced the panning. Now move the mouse downward. The view is panned downward, back towards the monkey in the rectangle. Move the mouse inside the rectangle, and the panning stops. As long as the cursor is inside the rectangle, there's no panning. Now move the mouse to the right. The view rotates counterclockwise. Move the mouse to the left inside the cursor. The rotation stops. Now move the mouse to the left. The view rotates clockwise. And move the mouse to the right to go back inside the rectangle. And that stops the rotation. You can also use the mouse wheel. Or if you don't have a mouse wheel, the plus and minus keys on the numeric keypad to pan inward and outward. I assume you don't have a mouse wheel. Not everybody does. We'll use the plus and minus keys on the numeric keypad. Press the minus key on the numeric keypad to pan outward. To stop this, press the plus key on the numeric keypad. To reverse direction, panning inward, press the plus key on the numeric keypad. To stop it, press the minus key on the numeric keypad. When you're finished panning and rotating, you have one of two options. Maybe you like where you wound up. If you did, left click and the view stays there. On the other hand, you might want to return back to where you started, to fly home so to speak. If you prefer that, press escape. So that's camera fly mode in a nutshell. Here's a little trick that might come in handy. We're going to get inside Suzanne's head and fly with her. I think biologists do this sort of thing with migrating birds or fish to see where they go. In the process, we can move Suzanne to where she has the best view of the scene. To do this, first press the Z key to go into wireframe mode so we can look inside of her. Then select Suzanne. Now make Suzanne the active camera, so to speak, by either pressing Control Numpad 0 or from the view menu select cameras, then select select active object as active camera. Now you see the world from Suzanne's point of view, so to speak. Press Shift F to go into camera fly mode, and you can move Suzanne around using all the controls we used earlier. If you like where she ends up, left mouse click to move her there. Press the home key, which shows all the objects in the scene, to see where she wound up. Eventually you want to make the real camera the active camera. To do that, press Alt Numpad 0, or from the view menu select cameras and then camera. It's just the reverse of what we did to make Suzanne the active camera. I hope you enjoyed our flight into Blenderland. If you liked it, be sure to press the subscribe button on YouTube so you won't miss any of my Blender tutorials. Happy Blendering!